Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays RimWorld, and what are we doing today? Well, let's get the game going on first and foremost. Before we do anything else, though, let me introduce our people that joined our colony as, uh, last episode, I should say, and I've renamed. So we have, um, let's see here, we have, oh, Duke, right? Duke was one of them. Where's Duke at? Okay, oh, here we go, I think this was Duke, right? So Duke's now been renamed to Ramen Guy, so Ramen Guy, welcome aboard. Ramen Guy, I like that. I'm a big ramen fan of myself, just because it's really easy to make. I mean, I'm not talking about the good stuff, I'm just talking about the ones that, you know, you basically put in a bag and, you know, put water over them and you're good to go. Not the fancy, like, you know, you go to, like, a ramen shop and, like, you know, get, like, a plate for, like, $8 and shit. Sure, they're amazing and everything, but, you know, I can't afford $8 ramen every time, man. You know how much I get my ramen for? I get four bags for a dollar, man. 25 cents, you toss that shit in a fucking boiling pot of water. You got yourself a meal for, like, you know, two days or something, believe me. I live in poverty, so I know. Uh, either way, we also have a Kitty aboard, so Kitty's actually A. Oddly enough, she actually got a female, so Kitty, welcome aboard. I know you've been waiting around to get yourself in the colony as well, so there you go. Unfortunately, you're in prison right now, but hey. And you don't have blue hair, which I know doesn't really fit your personality too much, but hey, you know. Maybe we'll do that once I start getting the dresser stuff set up here. But either way, um, welcome aboard, guys, and let's see what's going on over here. So everything's set up. Our dudes are are dumping the... Oh, no, they're picking up the stone instead. What the fuck is this over here? E11 Blaster. Okay, can we grab that? I'm not sure who that is, but um, I like it being there. Um, All right. By the way, guys, how about this waste removal? Oh, they can't remove it because they can't get around to it. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense, actually. So what we're going to do instead is actually just mine out through here when we get the chance. Now, of course, we know how the mining works in this game, right? So we have to be... Oh, they can't get through that, though. Shit. So we're gonna mine through here first. You know what I'm gonna do? Forget the extra moves gonna make. I'm just gonna make this a passageway. I think that would probably work out better. So let's keep an eye on this and make sure that this gets mined out. Because we actually do need, we do need that to happen, though. Oh, guys, don't don't walk through the through the waste. It's not safe. It's not safe, Dark Alex and then Tizilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, these guys are gonna be complaining to me once they grow like a third eyeball or something. They'll be like, Falcon, this is what you did to us, man. And I'll be like, you know what? You're right. Unfortunately, I don't offer any sort of medical benefits in my colony, so you're gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately, one way or another. If anything, we could probably just kind of uh, whore you around as like a freak show type of thing. But hey, at the very least, those uh, nuclear wastes are being removed. How's our uranium? Looking pretty good. This doesn't really... I think it uses up like one uranium per power source needed, so or something like that. So hey, I like it. What happened to this over here? You guys want to get this part as well? Smooth stone? Yeah? Don't miss a part, man. Okay. How are we coming along? Pretty good. So, actually, let's make sure that our home zone has been, um... Yep, that's home zone, alright. Yep, yep. Alright, yeah, we got everything, so everything should be clean for the most part. At least in the where it counts, anyway. Alright, so, I'm liking this. So what do we do at this point? Um, hydroponics is what I said last episode, right? So yeah, let's do that because we're gonna need food really quickly assuming we're gonna be continuing putting fine meals out here for these individuals to kind of partake in. Now the only problem is that they're still eating a lot of nutrient paste, which, you know, bothers me. The thing is that it's so close to them, so that's the reason why they do that. I mean, I could just knock this down. But if I do knock this down, the problem is that now there's not gonna be enough meals for everybody at any time. We need, like, a lot of food being produced. Oh, hey, we got this plant storage up and running, too. And again, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it. Because you can see right here what's happening, right? Basically, it doesn't stack beyond this. So it's going to be three stacks of 75, and that's it. Same thing with the meat thing over here. So I like the mod, but I would love it if you could just kind of, like, act like it's a big container. And you just keep putting, like, you know, more than 75 stack of food. You know, like, make it, like, say, I don't know, like, 500 per, you know, square. And I'm okay with it. I love it. But this right here just seems like I might as well just keep it on the floor and, you know, fuck it. So, hey, um, as soon as our dudes level up in their cooking ability, we can actually start doing the stone furnace meals, too. Or actually, can we do those now? Cooking 12, yeah, no, we can't do that, right? Do we have a cook uh, a cook for 12? Home meal, yeah, this requires a 12, so we can do the home meal. Can you do the lavish meal? No, requires 10. So, yeah, we're not using this one just yet. So, I would love to probably get in one more kitchen in here. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to do that. How about we do this? Uh, let's let them run around in real time, or fast time anyway. Let's do this. I want to go and actually, production, kitchen. 
Oh yeah. So we'll do that and maybe another one here. Like make this like a giant kitchen. Why the fuck not? Let's have multiple chefs running around. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, I like this. So we're gonna have like at least two more cooks doing their thing and have like more meals here. What I ultimately would love to do is actually just um get rid of this section here and have enough food stored up so that all we're doing is eating like, you know, good meals essentially. So we'll keep an eye on this and make sure how it comes along. Meanwhile, let's go over here and do a little bit of mining. And I suppose what we could do is uh, mine here, here, and here, and here. And what I want is to make this be the opening to our next area that we're going to expand to. Here comes my miners doing their thing. All right, good. Oh, well, they tried. This and this, please, if you guys don't mind. Militarize, unmilitarize, please. Come back and do it. There you go. All right. Now, we're going to basically just open up a big area over here, and hopefully this doesn't come crashing down on us. This should probably fit um, two more tables. But we do have to keep an eye on it and make sure that, you know, we don't basically crush ourselves over here. Because, again, um, you guys have told me many times exactly how, many of the, how much of the dimensions I'm looking for, but... At this point, you guys understand that I forget stuff, right? I mean, it's not its not even like a joke at this point, right? It's like, it's honestly something that's true. I forget it. I try to remember it. I just forget it. I should have like a another screen opened up here and just letting me know like, you know, key points of the game. Like, hey, idiot, it takes uh, so and so many uh, square points before, you know, you get crushed. And then I probably won't forget it, but then I'll forget to look at the screen and hey, you know what? We're back in square one. So let's extend through there. Here. Okay. Militarize and unmilitarize, keep them all over here. And they're going to sleep now. Okay, so hey, we got a little bit of progress then. And kitchens are set up now, so that's good. Um, let's add another kitchen here, or another bill here though. And we'll do another fine meal if we can afford that. How many, how's our cooks coming along though? This requires seven. And the other one I do believe was, close this off, the other one was uh, ten. So, let's look at the cooks. Um, cooking. We have one at six. Bend over can't do the sevens. But he's, he can make the smaller meals, all right? So how about we do like a one over here and then Warden will turn this into like a two now. And hauling like a two as well. All right. So bend over, welcome to Chef Extra uh, Extraordinaire. And what do we have here? Eight. So Chris is for sure our main dude for that. We have King Zug as a keeper. Let's make him a one as well. He's a seven anyway. We have uh, 9 of 20, so Nick's going to be the first guy who's going to be able to hit the 10 mark, so... Yeah, I mean, we have enough cooks going on for sure. Bender, yeah, we have enough cooks. We have 4 and 5. Right? Yeah, 5's at 1's, and then we have a few people over here, like at... I think it's like a 3 or something. Okay, so we have at least 5, and we have 4 kitchens at the very least. So yeah, that's, that's good. I, I like that ordeal. So let's go over here and turn this into... Not lavish, because we can't build that just yet, but we'll make the fine meal. And again, we'll use, um, oh god, did I just delete it? Fine meal, configure. Use meat as well for this, and, you know, all the air, all the stuff should be right here for you. Good. And then one more. Add a bill, add a bill and we'll do simple meal as well. Have two simples and two fines going on. Son, and move this down through here. That should cover just about all of it. And do this forever. Did I set this one up forever? No, I just set it up for one. Figure. Forever. Close. And what about this one? Forever and... Forever. You guys remember the Sandlot? Forever. Forever. Never mind, man. Just a big idiot sometimes. Alright, so our our waste area here is still pretty, looking pretty good. I hope that, like, the United Nations of RimWorld don't come in and, like, start knocking us and be like, Hey, um, we've gotten reports of you, like, you know, dumping illegal waste around the area without properly, you know, going through the protocols. What do you have to say for that? I don't know what you're talking about. Who are, who's this coming from? The Raiders? Fuck the Raiders, man. They're just lying to you. They're just mad that we keep killing them over and over. Alrighty. Careful, guys. Don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. All right, that worked out for us. Good. So, let's go about and set up our next um, tables over here. Now, what I would love to do... What are we going to here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So this right here, where Pyro is at, it should be the next wall. For wood, anyway. <laughs> eh. uh, so there you go. So that'll get built. And let's go and start putting some production tables running over here. Mm, hydroponic basin. Turn this bad boy around like so and like so. Alright, looking good. Looking pretty sexy if I say so myself. I know we could extend it a bit more as we go. But for now, I think this should probably hold us up for the meantime. Uh, we have a lot more berries than we do potatoes. So potatoes are being like basically on demand right now. So not a bad problem. We'll just have these uh, be potatoes then. Because those are in demand right now. Alrighty. And how's our guys doing over here? How you guys doing? You guys liking the meals and everything? We have uh, four cooks going at all times now, so that's good. Hey, we got Hayuken as well. Hayuken! Alrighty, my friend, what do you excel at? Shooting zero, terrible. Mining nine, and growing seven, huh? Okay, so welcome to the hydroponic uh, family. Uh, let's see. Which is a lot different than the Dr. Dre and Easy e and, like, you know, NWA family. That, that was just like the phonics family. You're doing the hydroponic family. Not hydrophonics either. I feel like that's never gonna, you know, go away, that little stigma of the hydrophonics thing from the earlier series of uh, RimWorld that I had back in Colony 1 or 2, and everybody's like, Falcon, it's not hydrophonic, it's hydroponic, you idiot. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And I would continue saying it. I don't know, man, for all you know, I was just messing with you guys. Ever thought about that? Nah, I really wasn't. <laughs> I'm lying about that. I wish I wasn't, but that's not the case. So, Hayuken, you're a, a dude with a, a bad attitude. That wasn't supposed to rhyme either, but it kind of did, and I kind of like it for it. Alright. So, if we ever get a trade ship, we have stuff to sell, FYI. You know, we just don't get trade ships, because trade ships fucking hate us. We could also build a few more mechs. Centipedes, I should say, and I don't think that's a bad idea, right? I don't think it is. But you know what we do probably need soon is more rooms. So... How about <clears throat> mechanizing, mechanizing, no mechanizing, huh? Alrighty, so mechs. Let's set up a mechanizing table here. This is for the, yeah, assembling and assembly machine components. So this is for the mechs. Now let's build a few mechs because we do have a mech list that I need to go through anyway. And you know, we have the mech parts for it right now. So we'll do this guy like over here perhaps. And just to make it pretty for him too, we'll put a little potted plant right about there. All right. Good, good, good. We're not doing any stone cutting right now. Food again, I want to like have a lot of food, but it's just not happening right now. Oh, wait, we might have more than... Oh, oh, wait a minute, they're stacking though, aren't they? I'm a fucking imbecile sometimes. Wait a second. Yeah, see, this, there's ten meals right here and five over here. I forget that they stack, so in reality, these extra tables aren't really even fucking needed. But I'll leave them there regardless of which. I could actually kill these two and then just put some chairs right here, huh? You know, I'm gonna do that. So, after all, let's deconstruct that. Sorry for making you guys build that for nothing. But that's alright. And then we'll do chair, 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 and chair. Chair, people, chair. Oh, we got Kitty as well. Hey, Kitty, welcome aboard. Oh, my lord. Kitty? You've been putting on the pounds in that prison. What, what happened to you? <laughs> okay, it's fine. You know what, man? It's alright. Not a big deal. Some people like them big. BB dubs is a real thing, after all. I'm not saying that you're necessarily a BB dub, but your avatar is, unfortunately. Uh, so don't take any offense to that. I'm, a, I'm an idiot anyway. So, shooting six... Oh, you know what? She's a good fighter anyway. And um, a good grower. Ex actually, a really damn good grower. So, um... Assuming, hopefully she's growing, like, food and not, like, you know, marijuana or something. Havoc. Oh, Havoc got recruited as well. Hey, so two new people aboard. So let's actually do um, Kitty first, though. And by do Kitty, I don't... Don't get the wrong idea, guys, right? I mean, like, no... Do her stats and whatnot. Um, so we got that going on, and we'll do not construction, not repairing, not hunting. We'll do a little bit of growing, obviously. No mining. Instead, no mining. No crafting, and some hauling as well. Alrighty, this is a good setup for her. And she's actually a pretty decent fighter, too, so let's get her a weapon here. Uh, let's get something crazy here. We got a lot of good stuff here, anyway. Oh, hey, we got some long range weapons, too, for our underbelly dudes over here. So, you know what, Kitty? Let's actually hook you up as a long-range fighter, because I think that we need some people on the bottom line. So, let's hook you up with, uh, M2483. Uh, VSS Vintores? God damn it. I wish I knew about guns. I don't know any of this, man. 
So we got the M2483, which reminds me of the regular M24. So let me just give you the VSS Vintores. That sounds pretty goddamn... Or, or what about the Accuracy International? That sounds to me like it probably won't miss, considering it's fucking called Accuracy. Um, yeah, got that one instead, right? <laughs> Seems pretty good. Now, Havoc. Let's find out about Havoc. Where's Havoc at? Havoc, my friend. What do you excel at? Oh, shooting as well? Excellent. Another sniper. And he's a good grower as well. What do you guys like? You and Kitty, like, get along so well suddenly? All right, so, um, put you as growing. Hunting would be pretty cool. I, I need to start sending out a new hunting party really soon, by the way. I'm hauling it too. Turn this off and turn this off. So apparently our, our growers are like amazing shoot, amazing shots, I should say. You know, color me surprised. Let me give you the VSS Vintores then. Alrighty, I like that. So, hey, oh yeah, these guys need some power conduits running through them and some sun lamps, by the way. So, get this running in real time. And let's see, power conduits. We'll run these like down to here for now. And that should cover everything. No, no, no. We're gonna more than likely need another one coming up through the middle side or maybe even the top side. I guess we'll do the middle side. Okay, that's good. And we'll get those powered up really soon and with some sun laps up there really shortly. But I want to first get the idea of what I'm doing here. Oh, and by the way, since we have a new area floored up, let's do some smooth stone. Oh, I missed quite a few over here. So we'll do some smooth stone like so. And like so. Alright. I'm digging that. <clears throat> Alright, and those uh, chairs have been built now. So, it's uh, more room for people to sit down and have a meal. My guys don't, you guys don't get along though. I mean, you guys never seem to have like, you know, like big party meals together it seems. Like you have like individual meals. Like occasionally you have like two people kind of sitting together. But otherwise it's like... Everybody's like a lone wolf in this uh, colony, which is really upsetting. You guys should be like more formalizing together. Speaking of being formalizing together, more hauling that should be done, honestly, should be um, this over here. Because raiders can take uh, cover under that. And at the same time, it looks pretty gaudy just kind of hanging out here for no reason, you know? Now, where do I want to uh, haul that to is the real question. I guess we could just do it here. Because we have stone, we have wood. No, wooden planks, regular wood. We have wood. The story of my life, right? I have wood and I never do anything with it. Um, I guess we'll make it... This this will be a real stumping stockpile area. For rocks and whatnot. Because it's not too far from the stone cutters anyway. So, let's go and do... Zone. And we'll do a dumping stockpile like here. Hmm. Let me do this. And what I want to do now is actually delete zone, obviously through the middle. And we'll do like a pathway through there. What I want on this one is actually just, um, debris itself. And I want slag debris on this one. And we'll put that as preferred. And then this one over here will be for the actual rock debris. And we'll put that as preferred. Alrighty, there you go. And if we can, just to get that out of the way, can you please mine this little last piece of rock that's here? And maybe even that one. Okay. And that's being connected now, and this one should be connected soon, right? Why is this one not connected? I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on you real quick. Let me just make sure. Oh, this didn't get mined out. No surprise there, right? But we are hauling the slag debris over, so that's good. And we're, all, we're hauling the rocks over as well. Come on, somebody just mine this really quickly. Just really quickly, guys. Uh, come on, thank you, Alex at Large. Alrighty. And now we could extend the dumping stockpile for this through that one as well. Alright, there you go. Good. I love it. Good job, my friends. Alrighty. Man, our colony's looking so fucking good. I love it. Alright, so now that that's done with, let's quickly take a look at what's happening here. I thought my power conduit should be able to reach here, right? Why aren't you not getting any power? I mean, for all extended purposes, you should be able to get power. Oh wait, this isn't connected? Oh, this isn't connected. The sun lapse in the way. Oh. Well, that's... quite of a dilemma now, isn't it? Interesting. So we have to get rid of this guy. This guy's just kind of in the way. And then we'll do... 
production and sun lamp there you go so really quickly we'll do a power conduit here to connect that and then we'll go back into production and we'll do a sun lamp um let's see gotta make sure this covers the other part that it's missing now huh so I guess a sun lamp here wouldn't be that bad of an idea maybe this one actually no, I think this works over here so we'll do the sun lamp right about there that got connected now which is good and now we'll do another one like let's say well, it's gonna cover quite a bit huh so we could probably even put this one like down to here I would say um right there is good then the other bad boy is gonna go right next to this anyway there you go so that's my sun lamps right there and this will be for plants because we do need them anyway because we are going through the potatoes a bit more faster than we are the berries. Alrighty, so as soon as this one's set up, we got our hydroponics section looking a lot more sexier than it normally was. Meals are being built like fucking by the dozen apparently. We have here, it's fine meal too, yeah. My guys are just coming in for the meals now. They're like, yeah, I don't want any more nutrient paste, Falcon. Fuck that shit. And I don't blame you guys. Hey, by the way, the squirrel just starved it over here. Sucks to be you, huh? Yeah? It'll show you to come and, you know, come into my colony over here and expect to get free food. So you guys, my friends, just kind of volunteered yourselves to be the uh, next contestants in the uh, Butcher My Squirrel. And we got Honey Badger. Hey, Honey Badger. Alrighty. Honey Badger is shooting nine. Excellent. Alrighty, Honey Badger. Give me a second here. Let's get you a weapon. And I say we're going to go with the... Hmm. You want the, you want the minigun, don't you? Let's hook you up with a minigun. So Honey Badger is going to come in really quickly and get, like, I guess, like, special treatment. It's like, you know, everybody's like, wait a minute, he just came in, he's got the minigun falcon in reality? Really? So that's what's really happening? And it's like, yeah, it's what's really happening. Um, let's go and put this to one, turn cooking off. Actually, he's not a bad cook, is he? Nine of twenty, huh? Alrighty, never mind. Turn it, why is it, what is it with the cooks being amazing, or the cooks and the growers seem to be amazing fighters for some reason. Turn this off then, and turn this off, turn that off, and art, turn this off, and that off as well. So we'll have you cooking in... Huh. Not much else that you can do, though. I guess hunting like a second priority. Along with this and this. There you go. Okay. Um, let's take a little quick look around what's happening here. I'm really happy with how this is looking, though. This is really good. I guess we could add a few more lamps and stuff like that. We could add a few more batteries as well because, you know, obviously my batteries are capped out. Anything that we're getting right now at this point is just basically a waste because we're not storing any extra battery power. So what I could do to kind of alleviate that is actually extend this down a bit and add some more batteries. I think I'm going to do that. But we'll do that next episode, guys. So everything went pretty good right now. We're going to carry those squirrels off to their dead and be chopped up really soon, I would imagine, right? Yep. Alrighty. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. And the base is looking really good. And, you know, we have that little beautiful shadow heart over here. So cute. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.